Get them on, Zeke. Tell them we lie. It hopes that we wouldn't say it first. But truth must be told. Truth must be told. We are about to take out. This is about to be good right here. This is about to be good. Get him in here. You don't want to miss this one. The 300 of Gigi's. We about to break it down for you. Never have it been made so clear. And we're going to keep this one clean. We're going to keep all of them clean. You too. We, we like to keep it clean. Get them in here. We about to crack heads and twist caps bright and early. This is the one. This is the, this is the tape right here. This tape right here is going to be good. This is going to be good because it's going to uh, come into what the brother Rod is talking about. About these Etruscans. These Moors. Right? We say you want to be Moors, right? We're about to get into it. The 200. Yes. Get them in here. You don't want to miss this one. Hey, y'all. When I tell you, we're about to crack heads and twist caps. Oh, look. Let me get switched to that laptop. We're going to take right off, man. We ain't going to waste time because we got stuff to do. We got to go on just crack heads and get, get on in there and get on out. You see what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. This is about to get good. Let me switch to that laptop. Let me switch to that laptop. We're about to get in and get this thing cracking, y'all. Never have it been made so clear. Okay, let me get that laptop going. Hey, y'all, get him in here. We about to, y'all get about to twist caps. And we about to get ready to get, get, get back rolling, man. They iced the kick. You have to ice the kicker, man. Hold on. They tried to ice the kicker with that seven day move, man. I was on the roll. We was on the roll, bro. Somebody said we had five million plays on one tape, but they, uh, but we, hey, we go back on there as a glitch. They're telling us it's a mild function or something. Look at it, right? The irony, the irony in this. Okay, we are right here in the slide, 200 slide. We probably like on slides. Went to Siamese twins already, man drapes already. We are right here in the slides. Let's get it cracking, y'all. Okay, let me get that chat pulled up. Oh, yeah. Here we go. A lot of this information ain't for everybody, man. It's only for the elites. Those who supposed to, those, those children of the anarchists. It's only for the children of the anarchists so we can wake your DNA back up so you can understand what's happening here. We the gods. And as I finish this series, uh, those who are the children of the Anunnaki who heard, listen to all these series, your DNA, I'm, I'm reactivating parts of your DNA and restoring your memory. Master Teacher already put it out, but a lot of it's like a lot of the stuff, the uh, I just had to, I had to come and teach it the way I'm teaching it so people could get it. So we just pretty much uh, breaking it down in our own way. And not only is we do, we're doing that, we got other scholars uh, to bag everything up. We're saying and put it when, when we put this thing together. It took us about a while. It took us a while to put this together, but um, we got it together for you. So what it do? Hey, what it do, AC? Uh, we about to crack heads into his caps, no doubt. 
So let's go and get cracking, man. Uh, all right. So we already know that Nezabot is a news daughter. Hala is Tanush son. These two had a son. This is how this Willow Pete gonna get in, right? Keep in mind about this Willow's Pete with Bell. Okay, about to, about to break it down. All right, so this being Hala, who is he was part in anarchy, so he was they lie him on Nubaru, right? So he, he's okay. Look, look, look at his hair. His hair is not straight. These Etruscans got this curly hair like this. They not they don't got the straight hair. They look like us, but they ain't us, but they got the straight hair. But and some of them grow, most of them grow that willow peak. We're gonna put that into the game. We're gonna show you show you this, man. Watch what I tell you. We about to so they had a daughter named Sud, which means dark or black, or right, as in Sudan. Her name later, she was a young, she came to the earth to he with her mother now and mother Ninty now. To work with them at the uh for the uh help the anarchies that were getting injured in the mines. But she was young when she came. She was a young lady when she came. Okay. Hold up. Let me hey, if you if you're new to the channel, hit that like, hit that subscribe button, hit the bell, right? Check back with us every day because we usually be putting some out new every day, right? Also, if you want to show us some love. On the cash app, we're dropping that in the links, and then we're gonna pin it for you. Also, we still got those eight books by the young elder for forty-five dollar donation to the cash app or PayPal. Be sure to leave your emails in the links. So let's take off. All right. So, uh, her and her daughter come to Earth, right? Also. The gold operation is going so good on Earth at the time when Inky's put in control after Alelu, but Enlil is still on Nubaru. But he over here, he see all the gold that's coming to Nubaru and how happy his dad is about the operation, Inky running the operation, he starts to, to, to get jealous. So he tells his dad, because he a crybaby and a small brat, yeah, that's right, Enlil, we got you. He a crybaby and a small brat. He tells his dad, "Hey, dad, I want to go and look and see what they see what Inky doing and see how is it why is it going so good." Nigga, don't worry. See, that's why people always want to worry about fixing something that ain't broke. See, see, in, the, all the gold was coming. They were sipping it to Riz. They were shipping it to Nubaru because of because of the crash. And all of, and the, and they was using some of it for the business to make the ships. It was going all was going good. But when Inky, when it mean Enlil, when Enlil heard, overheard that the stuff was going good, he oh, he couldn't let Inky outshine him. So he cried, he as a crybaby he is, he cried to his dad. Dad, I want to to a new, right? I want to go to Earth and see what Inky's doing. Right? That, that, that's how he made it out. But his whole plan was. To come and take over the operation, right, and make so he can get get the cool points for it, because he didn't want Inky to outshine him. Here we go. All right, like some of these names. Okay, all right, like so he had a visor. He had two visors. He had a messenger and a visor. His messenger was uh, Hanuel, Jibrael. We already showed you that they called him Jibrael in the Quran, Gabriel in the Bible, and then he had another visor. Which was like a, a advisor for all of, and on, like the all like Inky all of them. He was advising all of them really, but he mainly was advising Enlil. Enlil got on his ship when the uh, when the vortex opened because he because Nubaru was really out of range, so he had to come back and go through the, uh, doing a doing the vortex. Boom! Jump right in there, come back to uh, land on Key to see what Inky was doing. Right, he brought his visor with him. He also brought his son. His his visor uh, name was they called him Poppy. That's was his nickname, Poppy. Okay. Now he also brought his son that was born on Nubaru through Mother Ninti, named Ninertu. Now this this dude right here gonna come back up. 
And then there are two going to come back up, y'all. I'm telling you, man. Watch him. This dude right here, he be rocking. They, he's rocking jewels and everything, like the diamonds. We about to show all that. The watch, the bus down. He had the bus down back then. These boy had cell phones, bus downs, laptop, all it, man. I'm telling you. So Inky, Inky, I mean, I mean, take that back. Enlil and Ninertu and his visor and the whole group of entourage, his whole entourage, they come down to uh, uh, Key to see what Inky doing, right? When In when when Enlil got here, his brother Inky, his uh, his uncle Alelu was here, mother Ninti, and then his sister, and then several of they they cheer uh, a couple of their children. We're here. I think Murdoch was out. Murdoch was here too at, at that time. Murdoch was here. So Alelu was still a uh, uh still on uh Queen but he was like the he was like the second man in control in control after Inky came, right? When they got here, when they got here, right when Enlil got here, he went around and saw how good the operation was going. And he said, "Man, I want to. I want to run this. I want to run this. I can make. I can get more gold than in, uh, Inky got out of this deal. I can produce. Make these guys produce more gold than Ink uh, Enlil. I mean, than Inky, right? Now, keep in mind, it was Anarchies here working the mines, and they they weren't complaining uh, when Inky was in control. Also, the Dogon, the uh, Dragonians." That were here after the crash. It was there was some that still living in the water. Plus the uh, the Tudracodites or the male Deccans were living in the Bermuda Triangle because it's just after the crash. There wasn't that much complaints going on, and there was a lot of gold being shipped out until Enlil came. Right, Enlil said, "I can get more out of this deal. I can make these dudes produce more gold, more, more." This is thing, right? Right, so he he got into it with Inky, and everybody else said that he want to be the guy that running, right? So the, it was a commotion that broke out because the people there, the Dragonians and the, the uh, and Anarchies, really that was uh, here didn't really like Enlil because they he he was you know he was a mean dude, he a mean dude, man, you know. So he got mad and and cry baby and call his dad. A uh, beam the uh, message to his dad to come to uh, Key, so that he uh, so he could get him to put him over uh, the mission. So a new came, right? A new came with his entourage. He land. He get out in uh, uh, Iridu, right? The land that Inky set up. When he get out, they all there. Hold up, let me see if I got it at the next slide. Okay, so he come down from Nuru, right? A new. To Iridu, right here, right? Let's blow it up. All right. Now, keep in mind, Inky had set up Iridu when he first got here, right? And uh, the Absu down in South uh, Southeast Africa, right? So when he get here, they all meet up. He So he cries to Anu and says, I want to run this. Daddy, let me do it. I can get more gold out of this. Right, so a new man, a type of a new. He pretty, he's smart though. He's smart, right? He want to make everybody happy, but he do it like in the background, like you know. So he tell Enlia and Inky, Inky mad about it. Inky like, man, how did he gonna come down? You know, I got this going, and now he want to come and take over, bro. Uh, so a new told a new told both of them. Was that he said, y'all stop arguing? This is what we gonna do. We gonna pull lots. We're gonna flip a coin, like a like a flip a coin type thing. And he said, we're gonna have, I'm gonna pull three lots. The per, uh we're gonna one, the one that pulled the one lot is gonna have the they're gonna become the king of new rule. One that pulls this lot gonna become over the uh gold operation, and then the other one's gonna become over the uh, the abzu, the underworld, the the under uh under the ocean operation. So a new even put his own throne up to 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 say, say, okay, all right, even I can lose at this. So whatever happens, it's like fate. He believe a, a new believe in fate, right? He believe in fate. I'm telling you, man. Like he 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 go with fate. Like 
I'm gonna flip this coin, whatever the universe makes it happen, that's what's gonna happen. So he pulled, he got three, three lots, uh, three uh like straws, and got Enlil, Inky, and him, they all pulled one. And when they all pulled one, a new pulled the one that said he'll be the king back over Nubru. Enlil pulled the one that said that he'll be over the uh Iridu in the gold operation. And uh Inky pulled the one that said he'll be over the Abzu, the water world, right? So Enlil got his way. He became over the dang gone gold, gold operation. He got his way, right? So he immediately started cracking the whip on the anarchies that's in the caves. I mean, in the uh, mines. He immediately, y'all got to come produce more because he got to he got to prove to a new that he could do a better job than Inky. This is how it start right here, right here, man. Right. So Inky got put over the Abzu. It's like right here. I got it squared off right here on the map on South Africa, right? And it was like a it was like a partially underworld water world and a partially uh, on land world, right? So it's like go right here, then it go. It's like a stairway that goes off into the water, and you actually it actually leads to the underworld, right? And this one here's a symbol. This right here's a symbol of Hartar, who is Mother Ninty, and then her sag. Right, then her say this is a uh, her name translated to uh, Hartar in ancient Kemet. Right, so the Abzu was right here, they put him inky over there, and then Enlil stay up here, up to uh, lower Egypt, which they say was you no, know, it'd be like upper, but it's really lower. And he, uh, you know, he was right here in uh, Eridu, right. Okay, here's some more pictures of what it looked like under there. They actually sent divers down there to look at this uh, ancient ruins that was built by Inky and uh, Anzu. Anzu, the, uh, the 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 master builder of the dome, underwater domes and shit. All right, so when they pulled these lots, uh, Alelu was standing by, looking. And when they pulled the lights and everybody got their position, Alelu got mad and said, man, y'all overlooking me. I initially found the gold. What is this all? Like, y'all like y'all ain't even playing like I don't even exist. I was the rightful heir to, uh, to the throne of Nubiru. And y'all just overlooked me all together. Right? So Anu paused when he, when he said that. He thought about it. He said, all right, because a new type of nigga, that's, he, the new type of dude, he like, let's get it popping. He, he ready to get it popping. So he, when he said that, he paused for a minute. And then the new said, all right, let's battle right now. Let's fight right now. Let's, let's do it right now. He started taking his clothes off. Started taking his, uh, his, uh, his shield and stuff off. Let's do it right now. Let's fight right now uh, for the throne. I'm, I'm sick and tired of you. I'm sick and tired of you. Let's fight for once and for all right here. So new took his uh took his all his stuff off. They both started unrobing. And then they battled. Boom, bow, boom. I'm talking about, man, look. The people that the, the my elders that's listening right now, that was there, their memory starting to come back, and they're gonna remember it was a knockdown drag out. You talking about the rumble in the jungle, man, time 10. I'm bound, boom, bop, ooh, ah, ooh, you heard us, ah, ooh. Yeah, that's how we do it, right? Hey, hit that like button. Yeah, you heard boom, bang, bow. Then uh, after the smoke clear, you see a, a Lelu on the ground and a new with his foot on his chest. Right? As a new uh, reign victorious again, for the third time of defeating uh, for the last battle that he had against a Lelu. As he go, uh, got his hands up like you know, yeah, like you know how you put your arms up like a, like like you know showing your muscles. With his, he had his head, foot on his chest, and as he go, then after everybody cheered, and then he went down to give him a hand to get up. This is what Zachariah Stitcher uh, says on this part, right? He says that Alelu bit the phalluses off a of news avatar, right? They swallowed it. Right, it swallowed it. Right, we just go. We just go on with because uh, he the only one that says this part. Right, so we just add this in because we taking everything that everybody said, and and we you know we you know how the young girl do it, man. He said he bit his follicles off, and I knew it was in pain, and he was like, I got to go change clothes. The clothes in preference 
is the uh, avatar that he was in. He got to go back to get another avatar because this avatar is in damage. So they went, they sent them, they rushed them back to uh to this place where Mother Ninty them had set up a, a place and they they got him another avatar. And then they, the seven judges of Nubaru, which was Inky, Enlil, Mother Ninty, it was seven judges, right? They then uh, came to give, take uh, Alelu to court about what he did, right? And they, the ultimate end of the decision was to sentence him, let him stay in that avatar because he was part because uh, he was pausing. Once he did that, he got his body, he was pausing and he was like dying in, in that avatar. So they, they said, we're gonna, what we're going to do is we sentence him to death in that avatar and they let his spirit be trapped on Mars. Let his, let his essence be trapped on Mars, right? Uh, and so that's what happened, right? Let's, 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 let's play that role that part out. This is the story that they give. So when, a late, when, a, a, when they arrested uh, him and, and, and binded him, and when Anu got ready to go back to Nubaru on the trip back with Anzu, uh, which is uh, Anzu, who is Alelu's son, uh, they end up when when uh, when when uh, Anu got on the ship to go back, he dropped he dropped Alelu on Mars. But when he got ready to drop him on Mars, Anzu said that he wanted to go and go with his father and and till he die and wait wait while he die. So he landed with him and they gave him a new gave him space suits and all kind of equipment to go down with him. Right. And then maybe it was one or two other guys that was following the loop, a lay that came down with him. Right. But his, his son's the main one that stayed with him. When he, when his son said that he wanted to stay with his father till he died in his avatar, a new was, uh, he was, he was, uh, honored by that. Like he, when he said that I want to go with my father till he died on this red planet. Anu said, okay, all right, since you want to do that, I'm going to honor that. And what I do is on the next shore, when we come by, if you're still alive, I'm gonna st uh, well, he said, I'm going to send a ship down on the next shore, and they're going to come to feet, see if you if y'all survived on this planet. If you survived, I'm going to make you the king of this planet. And then I'm going to send uh, beings. It was 300 total, right? I'm going to send these 300 to Gigi's. And y'all gonna set up a way station to take in the gold to when Nubaru come back. Y'all can just we can just unload from from uh, Tiamat and uh, Mars and uh, the Moon, right? They call it, uh, uh, Mars Lumu Lamu. So he said he said when I come back on the next shore, if you're still alive, I'm gonna put you over the I'm gonna put you over the Mars station, right? So it came back around the next shore. Anzu was still alive and a couple guys that were with him. It was like uh, only like one or two guys that were followers of Alelu, right? So Anu said, because you survived, now I'm going to make a promise to you that you're going to be the leader. The, uh, I'm going to put you, I'll give you a percentage into the company and I'm going to put you over the way station on Mars, right? And so he sent 20, 20 guys first, 20 Agigis. The word of geekies is it means those who stayed in the heavens because they didn't come, they didn't really come to earth until the Murdoch's wedding. So they, they stayed on Mars and some of them stayed on Nubaru. It was more than 300 of Gigi's, but the 300 was sent to Lamu, 300 of the Gigi's. Now keep in mind the Gigi's wasn't just one spe uh, species. There were several different types of species, and they were a whole bunch of freaks. Uh, it was a couple of them that looked like freaks. I'm telling you, man. When I get into, uh, because I told you, I already showed you, uh, in I mean, Inky's visor who had two faces on the last tape. Hey, we about to get into. We about to get into uh, who created us. It, the three. It was three scientists in the laboratory that was working on the human, pro uh, the atom project. That was uh, Ningazita Tahuti. Inky and Mother Ninty. And then later they brought in uh, 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 Nergal and Ariska Gill and uh, Demkina uh, and the seven uh, nurses that were assisting Mother Ninty. So it was, it was several different people involved, but the main scientist was Inky, Mother Ninty, and Ningazita, Tahuti, right? On Mars. 
But they come later. They come down the line later. The humans are not even, uh, the Adam Project has started yet. We're still dealing with the 200, the, the 300, the Gigi's that got sent to Mars, right? Now, get in, I'm about to crack y'all head. I hope y'all ready. I'm about, about to get your head cracked. I'm telling you, man. You're about to get your head cracked. Okay. So, um, uh, New promised him to be the commander, right? Because people say you repeat yourself. I I gotta I gotta say things like I gotta say it so I can. It's like I'm I'm rap battling or something. So I gotta start back where I left to keep going uh, with the with the rap, man. You know what I'm saying? It's hard to rock a rhyme. To rock a rhyme is tricky, man. To rock a rhyme is tricky, man. It's tricky. All right. So a new first sent twenty guys, the Gigi's. And keep in mind, the Gigi's mean the Zerbers, uh, helpers. That's what it really technically means. It means helpers, really, because they were these. There was a group of different species that were helpers to the Anarchies on Nubiru. Uh, one definition of it is the Zerbers, those who stayed in the heavens to observe, because they these beings didn't come to Key. They stayed in on Lamu and the moon, okay, and uh, Nubiru, right? Okay. So on the next show, right? Y'all already know about the Nubiru, the 12th planet. It really, uh, it really it used to orbit right here on this asteroid building. Come in right there, like on the asteroid building, but they changed that orbit because it every time they would come in that red way, it would make it would make these planets act a fool. So they they stopped coming through that way. They just what they would do is just do an orbit around the whole. We're gonna get into that part too, though. But we'll come back to that. All right, so Enlil, immediately, when he got here, he started taking over and setting up his camps, right? So Enlil set up him a pad about around right up in here uh, in Lebanon, the Cedar Forest, mountains, right? He set up a pad right there. This is what his pad looked like. And hey, keep in mind, we're dealing in the age of when the Anarchies came here, it was the age before Leo. When uh, the, after the crash, uh, the flood took place. It was before. Nah, it was before Leo. It was like two uh, two ages before, maybe three ages before Leo, because the Leo is when the flood took place, and then uh, the the Taurus age is when Enlil took over. Really took over. He said that he can't. And then the Ram age is when uh, Murdoch took over. So uh, we're dealing with the ages, but. Really, they didn't even have the ages set up at this time because Inky is the one that laid that chart down. The Dendora calendar and the Mayan calendar, both the same, really the same calendar. And Inky designed that calendar. We're about to go back and to, to well, we're going to get to that part, though. We're going to get to that part. But Enlil automatically got his guys to set up him a pad right here. They built him a pad, right? Like a, a crib, set up his crib right there in the Cedar Forest on the hills and the mountains and shit, right? And then he set up a landing pad so they can land UFOs and other aircrafts they built to fly around on Earth, like airplanes and helicopters. Also, he had a helicopter landing pad right here at his crib, right? And a runway. So they had runways right here for planes to land on. Airplanes are the same airplanes you fly in a day. Before humans were, were created, in little number were flying airplanes. They had private jets before you were even uh, created, the humans. OK, he also set up another command station, uh, a pad. He had Enlil had a couple pads spread spaced out. He even had a pad over here in America, in South America. He had a pad over here, right? Because they had yachts where they were going back and forth on the yachts. We're about to get into that, too. All right. So he had set up a pad right here in Nipple, uh, Nipples, Nipples, Nipples. <laughs> Hey, Naples, right? And uh, he had a pad set up right there, right? So you're looking at, look at Aura down here, right? Or like all these cities, right? Okay. One day when he was at that pad we just showed you in Naples, right? He saw uh, one of the little young anarchy women out there bathing. Uh, even though with no clothes on, we gotta see it. We gotta keep stuff. So we're gonna keep it clean, you two. She was the daughter of 
Nis Nisbach and Hala out there playing, having a good time. Dark, black chick. Sood, right? Enlia went up and took, went, went, hold on. Enlia, I got to say it the same way. Enlia saw and invited her back to his, to his pad. When she got back to his pad, he gave her liquor. And he slipped something in her drink. Man, this is, hey, look, I ain't making none of this up, man. Go back and read the Lost Book of Inkies. Right? I ain't making none of this up. He slipped something in her drink and got her intoxicated when she was out. And then he went into her, right? And later she produced her first son that was born, Enlil's first son that was born on Earth. But because he already, uh, his older brother's name was Ninertu, right? They were born on Nubaru with Mother Ninti. Now he had his first Firstborn son on earth, who name was Nanar Sin, who became your Allah, who became your Allah. We about to we about to break it all down for you, man. This is your Yahweh Elohim in Lil in the cool of the day, and then this is your Allah, the son, uh, you know, son of God, and the grandson of Hala. You did in your head too while you're thinking on it. Look at that Willow's Peak. Yeah, it's about to come all clear for you. In just a bit. Yo, we got you. Hey, yo, I got you. I'm gonna put it down. I'm gonna put it down for the crowd, man. All right, here we go. So Nanar, who is really Nino Brown. I'm telling you, man. He the spirit of Nino Brown. Nanar is the spirit of Nino Brown. Because you got Nanar or uh, Nano, right? Or Nino. You no, know, a Nanar like Nanar technology, right? And then you got Nino. Which is the same thing. Nino Brown is a uh, that New Jack City Nino Brown is a reenactment of what in what uh, Nanar was doing back in the day. We're about to break all of it down. Them boys were rocking them big chains like that. Them boys were moving it. Them boys were moving that stuff. We gotta say it. We gotta say it the same way. Them boys were moving that stuff, right? I right. he set up a city in R, right? Nanar set up a city in R. A Chaldea, right? They had the you know that he had the they uh built he got his the people or the anarchy the workers to build him a ziggurat. They built ziggurats when they first came, right? Which is like a big large temple structure, right? So he was in control of Aura, a Chaldea. Keep in mind because the Aura gonna come up. Because when when I told when I told people that mu aura is the, the word more, the word more comes from mu and aura being put together. They said that I was crazy. Now hold on, let me show you this so I can show you so you uh, the, the feed. Now if you go to the holy tablets, if you go to the holy tablets on in the glossary in the back, and you look up the word mu, it's right here. Right, the word moo. Because Nika say I was crazy. Oh, young yellow baby making man, he, he talking about the more. Man, the word more don't mean navigation. It don't mean it, it can mean all that because these it, it describes these people. They were navigators, they were star watchers, they were uh dark skinned people, so it can mean that too. But the origin of the word is moo or those of Chaldea, one of Chaldea. If you look right here, the word moo. Right here on uh, what page this is? Uh, Z. Uh, right at the glossary, the M U, right? M U, right here. Mu, Ashuric, Seret, Arabic. One who is, one who is. So if you take Mu and Aura, that means one who's of Chaldea. I told you, niggas, man, niggas thought I was crazy. One and so those. And they become these beings I'm about to tell you about, the 200 the Gigi who came to the wedding, they came from Mars. I'm about to put it all together for you. This red tape might be two hours. This right here part might be two hours long because uh, I got to break it all down for you so you can see what's happening here. They got this loud truck in the background, man. Okay. So in little son, uh, Nanar Sin. Nanar Sin rules Sumer from Aura. Okay. He had the joint, he had hey, he had that joint popping. 
He used to be out here floating just like Nino Brown getting fed grapes by by uh by Anarchy young girls. I'm telling you, man. He used to be floating right there getting the grapes fed. I'm telling you, man, it's a rerun. All them, they ain't just making it up. These stories have already happened in the mental reservoir, and they pulled those stories down about Nino Brown. And they mixed it with the Chamber Brothers story from Detroit. And the chambers are, are far people. Come on, man. I, man, I'm telling you, bro. The, the, the fuzzy wuzzies. All right, this is uh Nano, like a uh, drawing of him sipping some tea. Uh, it might have had some, you know, some dip or something up in there because these boys, big boys got down. I'm telling you. All right, so this is another picture of it right here. Right? This is before the pyramids, man, were built, man. The pyramids were built later, 10,000 BC. This is thousands. I'm talking about hundreds of thousands of uh, years, man. Okay. Here's another thing of uh another thing of uh Nanar. Nanar and the women that he was, you know, he had a couple of women. He had a couple of chicks, right? Okay. This is this is joint. This is uh his pad. Uh, this is pad right here, right? And keep in mind, you could they landed helicopters on the top of this thing and UFOs, and they had runways for airplanes. Keep in mind, I'm talking about thousands, hundreds of thousands of years ago. All right. So when uh when when uh Enlil had a son by Mother Ninty named Ninertu first, right? But because he had the way he did it. A new a new forbidden them to marry. So when she came to Earth, Inky got a uh, got at her, and he ended up marrying her. And when he married her, he he wanted her to birth a son. So they tried to birth a son, but they birthed a daughter. The first daughter' name was Nash, right? And she became uh she learned from her mother, and she was working at the cities with her mother uh, as a nurse, the first nurse nurses, right? Then she they tried again. And tried to get a son, they couldn't have a son, and they birthed another daughter named Nash. I mean, well, not, not Nash, Nash was the first daughter, Namud. Namud, and she got a, named after her grandmother, Inky's mother, Namud. Right? And she also worked to help her mother at the cities where they were healing the Anarchies. Right? All right. When the Enlil took over the command, he started assigning positions. He assigned his son in there to, to the, to the, the uh, facility they had in Bag Tibera, Tiber Bag Tibera, I think I'm saying that right, Bag Tibera in Iraq, where they had a gold refinery, where they were turning the gold into monatomic gold and to a powder form so they can take it back to Nuru and, and then spread it into the atmosphere and on rigs. So it was like they were smelting it. Some of it they were making blocks out of it. Some of it they was making like... Uh, uh, these dust particles to take back to the, spread into the atmosphere. We get into the 200 gigis. We're building up to that part, right? So Nin Ertu had control of this area. He also set up a pad, right? He had his pad set up. They had these ziggurats. This is a, what it looked like right now today because it's, it's like, you know, coming down, but it's still standing today. This is older than the M Hotel Pyramid, my nigga. Come on, man. M Hotel wasn't even born yet. You know what I'm saying? When this right here was built, what they talking about, man? And keep in mind, this is ancient Kimmy as well, if you want to really get down to it. But this Nin Ertu pad in La uh in Lagash. I think I'm saying that right. Lagash. His pad right there. You see, that's on the map right there, right off the right off the coast. He had a pad, uh, and he had a runway, and he also had a berets of different aircraft. And then Ertu had different types of aircraft. I'm going to show you what he had. Let me show you some of his whips. I'm going to show you some of Nin Ertu whips. All right. Nin Ertu had a UFO type whip that he could fly around fast if he wanted to go, you know, to, uh, you know, round over, you know. Then he had the black, he had what they call a blackbird, a blackbird and a black hawk. And he had a whirlwind uh, that they call, that's a whirlwind, a helicopter. So, and then his helicopter had bombs on it where it could shoot bombs. 
and his uh his, he could shoot lasers and bombs and nuclear weapons off of these. He had nuclear weapons. And then Earth 2 had chemical weapons, nuclear weapons, he had laser weapons, and he had missiles. Right? And he built missile silos in America. He built missile silos in America and then there too. I'm telling you, man. So we already had missiles over here. That's what they don't want to tell you. And forbidden artifacts, man. You need to get that book. It was already missiles over here. Because I, I was wondering, how did the Moors have missiles? One dude in the book said the Moors had missiles. And I was like, how the hell did they have missiles? Then I put it together. The, 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 uh, the, the, uh, the, the plutonium that these beings had coming from Pluto. And then I put it together. That then Ertu had the bombs and he was building the missile silos over here already in America. And he had all these, they, they was building uh, mounds, which were landing pads for these out here type of crafts. And they had runways. Okay. Murdoch set up a city in uh, Babylon. And he had set up a laboratory right here. And keep in mind, Murdoch becomes Amun, I mean, Amun Ra and becomes Atun Ra, right? And, and he, they, they had, and keep in mind, these people has different avatars. Murdoch becomes, and he becomes the beginning of ancient Kemet, really. Amun, Amun Ra, the hidden one. He becomes the, the beginning of ancient Kemet through Inky bloodline. So Inky, the Kemites or the, 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 the Egyptians are really descendants of Inky. Coming down through Inky and Murdoch, uh, starting to mix with these humans or these Watusis that landed in uh, in ancient Kemet with the then with the Far and the Bantu, the Twa and the Sandman that was there after the fact. But this right here before all that took place, right? Murdoch came down and set up Babylon and started building. A, he built a facility and he started working on different technology in this city, like the Stargate. The Stargate. That's what they, that's what they really talking about when they started, said that these beings gonna build something to get into heaven, and we gotta stop them. That was in Lil them to come bomb. They then there two of them went bombed Murdoch City to stop them from you getting uh getting uh coming up with the technology, right? So the technology that Murdoch was working on in this city uh, was the Stargate, and this device right here was called the sarcophagus. Well, you can uh, lay in it and it'll heal your avatar, like from diseases and injuries. Injuries. He was, but he hadn't developed it yet. He was developing. He ended up developing later when they when we uh, left here and went to Orion. He ended up finishing the development and developed the uh, the Stargate and this device. But he 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 was in the stages of developing before he got before he got bombed by Ninurtu. Right. Hold up. Also. After uh, Ninar Sin was born, uh, the new a new made him marry Sud because of what he had did. He made him marry her, and they changed her name to Nin Lia, right? And then she birthed another son named Adad, a hat dad. Uh, he was called Adonis, which was really a title, or Baal, which was really a title like Yahweh, a Lord, right? And he was the one that was in charge of dusting people, crop dusting niggas, man. He crop dusted, and uh, we don't get to tell what he, what these guys were doing, but we just want to get you the the storyline of the characters together, right? Right. They birthed a son named Adad, uh, Baal, or uh, you know, right? Hold on. Come on, come on, come on now. All right, and they and, and what, what was happening? They they was digging for the gold, and these Anarchies were being sent here in crafts of fifty in these shams. They got these crafts called shams. They had uh, two thousand eight hundred and eighty of them, I think, on Nubaru, and they hold fifty passengers, and they were sending fifty Anarchies here, and they, and uh, rotating them out to do dig in these mines. And keep in mind, Enlil came and started cracking the damn whip, right? He came and started cracking the doggone whip on the mind. Y'all need y'all to work 10 times harder, not night and day. So it, at first they were working 12-hour uh, days when, uh, under Inky command. But when Enlil came, he switched it to 24 hours. I want you to work all night and day. And really it was longer than 24 hours because the time for, to the Anarchies, one day is 30 uh 30 days one day is 30 days so 
They'll work 30 days straight with no risk in the mines. Non-stop. When they only worked half of that, it took half off and they was rotating so they could be fresh. But Enlil worked them non-stop, breaking, cracking whips, breaking backs. I want it done. I want it. I don't care what it takes. I want to make myself look good. So he wanted them cats. He wanted them boss bosses that didn't do nothing but sit up in the office and he said he complained about how they people ain't working hard and he wanted them to work harder right he ain't doing nothing but sitting in this sitting in his office uh you know smoking some stuff drinking some beer and stuff he chilling so these anarchies were doing the mining right at first before the humans right check it out man okay these were the mine. Now they had a guy, uh, the, the low, they called these people that were working in the mine the lower class and anarchy. I mean, they won the raw family, like Inky and Enlil, them coming from Nubaru, or uh, come uh like part of uh Alelu's family coming back, like the raw family. They were just the other families that were part of the uh part of the same clan. So uh, the lower class, the ones that were doing the digging, they called them heroes because they left their homes. They left their families back on Nuru. Some of them left their families in risk. Some of them left their families in the Atarian, uh, the, the Centaurian star system. Some of them left their families in the Plate star system. Some of them left their families in the Orion star system to come on this mission to save risk and to save Nuru. So they were called the heroes. And there was a lower, they were called a lower class. And they had a, a, a ruler over the lower class. And he was in control of them working the mines. He was like the foreman, like the foreman over the mines, right? The workers in the mines. And I think his name was Cal Kel. That's how you say his name. With an A, though. So these uh, the Anarchies use big heavy equipment to start digging out these big uh oh, I can't well, I can't see that. Hello. Hello. Oh, there you go. These anarchies use this uh these big uh big old equipment that Inky designed start start mining for the gold like on in the uh in the ground and in the ocean right they were doing both the ocean one wasn't working as good they end up scrapping it and going to the scrape digging in the ground uh the guy it was a guy over the canals and over the deep digging up the, the rivers and the, they dug the tigers and euphrates these uh and anarchies they dug the tigers and euphrates out so they got digging all these uh rivers and ponds and lakes and uh you know what i'm saying uh, and the dude that was over there his name was inigo in inigo inigo i can't see his name right here it's like blurred up but i think it was like inigo uh how you say his name but uh, in the Holy Towers, I got it got a better picture where you can see his name. I can't see his name right here, but I know he was over the canals. I don't know why that's so blurry. I think he's in in the girl. Look, that's how you say his name. But I got the Holy Tablets in the link, so you can go read the Holy Tablets, uh, and, and you'll see him in there on the Holy Tablets. He was over the canals, and so they use these back holes because of Inky designed this back hole using hydraulic equipment. He, he designed different types of equipment to work on Earth. Hydraulics is dealing with water. So that's why he designed the hydraulics equipment. And they um, they use these bag holes and big truck cranes, all that to do, dig all these canals. Okay. Now we get to the Igigi part. Okay. So you remember that they, uh, when they, when they, when they got Anzu back on the ship, when a, a new came back around, he went into new office and new talked to him and told him that I'm gonna put you over Mars and I'm gonna send three uh 20 guys initially with you so y'all can start building these dome cities. And then after y'all build the dome cities, I'm gonna send 300 more guys. Right? So uh and, and so he told him the story. Uh new one that won't know what happened to uh Alelu. And Anzu told him. He said that Alelu died. He, he 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 lived a while, but he he had a neck agony. I mean, he had an agony playing in his avatar uh, from the poison, right? But he eventually died, right? Uh, he died, and his essence left his avatar and was uh, trapped on Mars. 
But he said that I do I, what I did is I did a I put a face to mark where I, where I buried them at. I put buried them and then I put a face to mark. This before the Adam project. This this is before it was used to let the extraterrestrials know that it was an Adam project going on. He put uh Anzu built that face to represent uh a Leilu's burial site on Mars, right? Originally, okay. And so he sent. Anu said, all right, I'm going to send the 20 men, and I want y'all to go back, because keep in mind, uh, Anzu was a master builder of the Dome Cities. So he said, I'm going to send 20 men. These are the 20 captains of the 200 fallen. The first 20 men that come are the 200 captains of the 200 fallen, or the, the, the 200 Gigi's that chose to go down to Earth and take women. Now, I'm going to show you these cats, Right? All right, so they start building these ziggurats on Mars. It's ziggurats on Mars. They don't want to show you that. They don't show you that part. The ziggurats on Mars. And they, it's dome cities on Mars. They were built, that's, that's been there for um, millions of years. With, uh, with, they're built by these beings, these 20, uh, 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 Anzu and the 20 uh, captains that was going before the 200 came. All right, so they said that, so Zachariah Stitchin said, uh, that this face was built for and, and represent the burial site of Alelu. And the Bible later on come and say that they used, uh, it was a temple or uh, laboratory built right here. And they used this face as a sign to let the extraterrestrials know that they were doing the Adam project. Right? Now the Agigis. Let's get it. Now we get into the Agigis. Now we can get this. Now it's about to get good. Now it's about to get good, y'all. Now the Igigis, uh, they were several different species of Igigi uh, under this title. They were the helpers or observers that stayed in the, in the heavens while the Anunnaki's worked on the ground and dug in the ground. So the, the uh, 300, first 20 of them got, the 20 captains got sent to Mars to uh, help uh, uh, Anzu set up the uh, way station. Now, some of them were greys. Some of them were greys, aliens. That was part of the Gigi. So, uh, here's a, what they, here's a, a different species. Like, but they mostly like, were Hindus, niggas with two face. They did, uh, people with, that did uh, these, these weird looking Hindu niggas that had like makeup all on. Because when they came down, they taught the humans how to do all this. The makeup and the illusionary magic and all that. They taught the humans this when they came down. They children. So it was it was some that looked they were a bunch of freaks. The Gigi's were a bunch of freaks, man. I'm telling you, I'm telling you, niggas with eight arms, uh, niggas that look like with sharp teeth, with that look crazy looking, man. I'm telling you. But these weren't the main guys. All these were like the, the helpers, right? I'm gonna show you the main guys, the twenty, the twenty captains. These were the twenty captains. These just were demons. All these demons, the two hundred fallen. These were demons that came out of the three, all the 300. It was different species. I'm just giving you an idea what all they look like. Right? These are some more. Right? What they look like. Some of them had four arms, three heads, some freaky stuff, right? The Hindu, you know about the Hindu, uh, the bad Hindu, the bad Hindu guys, bad Hindu demons. Right? They, 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 they can do. These people can do a loot. They was illusionaries where they can make themselves appear with, with five heads, six arms, all it. Right? Because they were doing, they was uh, using these shrooms to hallucinate and stuff. Right? These beings that landed on Mars, the 200 of Gigi's, uh, it, it actually was 300. But the first 20 captains, we're going to show you them. This is what they, what, the, uh, what these, uh, it was different species of them, right? Mixed. You had some that was, and these actually came, uh, the some that were half human, half goat, half human, half dog. I mean, half human, half goats. Hey, I'm live right now. I'm about to call you back. All right, all right, all right, all right. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, uh, there's my choice to white. Yeah, 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 yeah. Right. Hey, so. Check this out. Hey, it was, it was some good ones that came. It was some good ones that came, but but the bat, the, the two hundred, the three hundred gigis were a mixed species of different types of beings. And this was they, these were gigis right here. They were half goat, half humans, 
right? And they had, and these guys got, uh, look like, okay, so there was Centaurians, because these beings, these are uh, the ones, the 200 captains, they had, these were all their children. They were mixed with different crossbreeds of species. So some of them were Centaurian beings, like this dude with the horns that's on, that was on Mars, right? That's where they make more to come back from, man. They get more to come back with uh, Go'u. Go'u it was one of the species that was on the four-armed species. All right, so this right here, the Centaurian was one of the species of the Yiggies, right? Hold up. This is what they look like. You had two different kinds. Some of them had horns. And these beings ended up getting cast down. Right, remember they they went to hell. These what you call in hell, according to the Christ. We're trying to cut. We're trying to talk to where everybody can hear us. Christians, Hebrews, everybody. Right. So these are the beings you call in the demons. Right. They, they got cast out of heaven. Right. The Egigis. That's what they look like. Right. But these weren't the captains. These were the helpers. The two hundred, the three hundred that got sent after the twenty captains. I'm going to show you the twenty captains. What they look like. They were human. They were humanoids. All right, here go another species that came with them. And a lot of these species, the remnants of them are on Mars right now due to a whole bunch of mixing that was going on on Mars and laboratory experiments. But these were the, these beings were part of the Igigi, right? Here you go, right here. I'll show you a half man, a half man with a bull, I mean, a man and a bull mix. They walk upright. It was part of the Igigis. Okay, here's another species. Now these are the, now, now we get into the species that were the, the 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 leaders, the captains. Now these people these people weren't the captains, but the leaders looked just like these beings. They had these they wore these helmets with the fin on it because they these beings actually come from the Nagas, which came to Nomos. Then the Nomos was underwater. Then they went to the side uh centaur uh to the uh, Procon star system, and then they migrated to the Centaurian star system. So they were humanoid, tall, 10-foot beings that had to, uh, they had already had the uh, Vulcan mix in them, but they had these fins on their head, right? These Centaurians. And some of them were blue, some of them were green, and but the but the uh, the ones that the, the Anarchies put the captains, they were dark-skinned beings, all like black, like real black. I'm about to show you them beings, right? Also, it was uh Queen Sheba and her or her son came to Mars. These they were a part of a the same species as those uh those centaurians, but they had four arms. They were a part of the Gigi and they put these beings in Mortal Kombat. And they actually live here on Earth right now on the ground in India. Prince Guru from Mortal Kombat. And some of these four armed creatures uh live on Mars. They live on Mars. We already showed that in uh, like years ago, three, four years ago, in the tape we put out called Field Trip to Mars. All right, here goes some what some of them look like. I'm about to show you the captains, though. I'm about to show you the captains. These were different types of beings from different galaxies that were on Nubiru, that were the Igigis that became helpers that were sent to Mars, right? Here goes what some of them look like, right? The Hindus. We about to crack heads and we about to crack twist caps. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm telling you, bro. Who else is doing it? Who else is saying it? Right? Say, hey, bad with it. We, we, we cut, they say, yeah, 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 yeah. It says, yeah, some of them were good. Some of the Hindus were good, right? But the ones that went to Mars, they, they, they got mad. We're going to tell you why they got mad in a minute. But this is what some of them look like. They had some of them had pink skin and horns and 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 they were morphodites, meaning having male and female parts, right? They were a bunch of freaks. Some of them looked like this dude, and these people, some of some of these uh, these people descendants still live on Mars. I showed that in the Mars tape. Uh, I showed that in the Mars tape uh, three four years ago. The species still live on Mars right now, and they worship this being. The uh a part uh, certain groups of Freemasonry's worship this worship this three headed being, right? They call them uh Jubilon. I think that's what the name they refer to them as. Ja, El, and On. The God Ja, El, and On being brought together. They worship this demon, right? 
So when you get an idea about these beings, you look think about the 72 demons that we told you about that Solomon was controlling to make them build. Because these Moors, these ones that lent these demons that landed in Or Chaldea, they were the builders. They were they the ones that that Solomon. Now we're just saying for the sake of uh biblical guys, because we know the truth, we're gonna come back to that. But Solomon used these 72 these demons to make build the temples. Right, y'all remember that? My, my Bible guys, my Hebrew guys, that's in y'all, y'all remember that part, right? So we talk about these 72 demons in my book called The Scroll of Eyes. If you want to get those books, like I said, we got all eight books for $45 donation to the Cash App or PayPal. Leave your emails in the link. We'll send you all eight books in PDF form, right? The Scroll of Eyes break all this part down, right? So it was different types, different species, crossbreeds, mixed freaks, freaks. You see what I'm telling you? These wasn't the, the, the 20 captains, though. The 20 captains look humanoid looking. I'm going to show you what they look like. But it was different mixes, crossbreeds, and just crazy mixes, demons, a bunch of demons. The 200 of Gigi's. These were the two, the 300 of Gigi's. The 72 captains and then the 20 captains. Look, they, they look, and some of these species still live on Mars, like this, uh, this, uh, the lion looking uh, demons. These all these demons. You see what I'm saying? Now, the, two, the 20 captains, the 20 captains that came, they looked at just like these guys, right? And they they were a Pacific, these 20 captains, they were a Pacific group called the Etruscans. They were part of the, they were the 20 leaders that got their new son to Mars to help Anzu build a dome cities. And they were dark skin in between uh seven foot and uh they can get up to eight foot tall these uh dog skin niggas man they had not a uh, woolly hair but like a curly texture hair and they and look they leader name was uh these are the moors these are your moors right here these are your muu moors the ones who landed in all chidea the dog skin the truskins the that same niggas that rod said was after us Watch this now. It's all for to come together for you. Now, watch this. Hey, I, I sent the link to Rod. I was hoping he came in, but he, he might be, uh, what's the day? Saturday, he might be still asleep. Right? Watch this. Now, they leader, he was an L. Now, all these 200, these 20 niggas, they were L's. They were L's and L's. They were L's and L's. These 200 centurions. I mean, these are 20 captains. They were centurions. Now, watch this. Their leader name was Shem Gaz. If you Google, Google Shem Gaz the God, now watch this. They, the first, look, look at what it says. The Gigi, right here, the leader of the Gigi, right? And the first thing that comes up is what? The Etruscans. The Etruscans. Now, I'm going to break it all to you. Look at them with the wings. They were, they were stationed on malls and got mad at Murdoch. Because he wouldn't, he he didn't honor what he told him. He was he was kept stalling them because Murdoch really didn't like these cats. Murdoch really wanted to go and get rid of these cats anyway. And one of his names is Azael. I'm trying to say his name right. Azael, Zael, Azael, Azael. I ain't good with English pronunciations, man. Y'all already know. But Shem Gaz is a dang on Etruscan. The leader, the, the 20 leaders, they got sent to Mars. They were Etruscans. Now I'm about to bring it more. Hey, look. Hey, look, I'm about to bring it in more for you. Right? Because now, now for my Moors, don't be, don't get mad and get scared. Cause I'm a Moor too. These people mixed in with us. These Shem Gaz mixed in, they mixed in with us. We part of these people. I'm telling you, man. So we are the Moors. But we got to break the truth, got to be unfolded for you. So, the leader of the devil, the leader, the leader of the 200 demons, the captain, name was Shem Gaz, and these niggas were Etruscans. Hold on now. Stay tuned. Stay right there. We got you. Right? Look at so, look at all the pictures that you go type in Etruscans, you see these, uh, these were the Igigis, the, the 20 captains. They had these, they wore these helmets with the, with the fin on the back. Right, hold on. 
Now it's a cartoon called Marvin the Martian. And literally, you know what Marvin the Martian was all about. These niggas playing games with us, man. They playing games. Now look at this. This is Shaggy. This is like an android. And this was a different species that was on Mars. This is the uh the Duanis, right? The Alf. The, they made it about, right? Remember Marvin the Martian? That's what the uh these Etruscans are all about, right? They was on Mars, stationed on Mars. And look at that. They got him with that same helmet on, and they got him black. And you a dark black nigga. And you wondering why. Yeah, yeah, sit down. Thank you. Hey, I forgot to get that ball clap disclaimer, y'all. I forgot to hit you niggas with that ball. Let me let me let me hit a drink on. Let me hit my drink on. I forgot to get it. Little do you know what Marvin the Martian is all about. Right? They got him as black and he's stationed on Mars and he's trying to take invade Earth. Because these people, these beings did invade Earth during Murdoch's wedding. But look, why you think they put the Marvin the Martian out and why he was dark? Because he want he a more. He the more is the one that landed these beings, these Chaldeans, I mean these uh Centaurians who landed in Chaldea, who was stationed on Mars at first. Look, they got him black. Look at it. They telling you what the game is, and you they just put it over your head. See. Yeah, I'm talking to him greasy, Jones. We're going to talk greasy right now. We're going to talk real greasy. Why is they showing you Marvin the Martian, man? And then they show you uh, Marvin the Martian fighting against the Anarchies in this cartoon. Look at look, look, look how they got him. This dark-skinned dude. Like, look at it. They got him with the dark-skinned dude with these hats on. Right? With this, with this, yeah, look. They were part of the 20, the 20 captains that came to help a uh, uh Anzu on Mars. And they ended up getting mad because they wasn't getting, uh, they said they weren't getting good pay and all that, and they was getting neglected and left on more. Really, I'm going to tell you what a new game, I'm going to tell you how slick a new is, though. These were a bunch of freaks. Like, out, like you know, remember how uh, Padilla Castro said, I'm going to flush the toilets of Cuba on to America, and he got rid of all the criminals, uh, and he flushed them on to uh, America. Just like they did during England when King George flushed all the uh, criminals over to America, right? Well, Anu did the same thing on Numeru. He got all the freaks together. It was 300, groups of 300. And he, he sent all the freaks to Mars to get them off Numeru, right? And he put these guys in control of them, right? Hold up. Look at them. And then they come down here in disguise. Look how they dress. They, they look like us, but they ain't us. Remember, Rod told you. They look like us, but they ain't us. He down here, the black dog skin nigga dressed. Look at him, man. We got him. The Etruscans. Yeah. You two, yeah, you Etruscans is the 200 fallen niggas, man. You Moors, right? The ones of Tridea. Yeah, we got you. Don't run now. Don't run now, my brother. You Etruscan. Somebody came out of my brother Rod, and they said that, uh, that Rod, he, that the Etruscans ain't the dirty moors. Well, we about to show you, bro. The Etruscans come from Mars. When they didn't come from Mars, they got stationed on Mars because Anu was getting rid of the criminals off of Nuru. <laughs> I'm telling you. All the ugly niggas, the niggas that was freaks, four arms, five heads, man parts, uh, you know what I'm saying? Man parts and women parts. And that's what the Martian, the Mars attack movie really is all about. We about to make it more clear for you here right now, though. When they when when the when the two hundred Gigi's invaded Earth from Mars, because uh, they really didn't invade Earth, they really came. Murdoch really invited them for the wedding, and then when they got here, they had made a plan to start taking humans, make an oath between each other, and start taking humans and raping them, taking advantage of them. Right. So look, they got him with a top. Look at that. They telling you the whole time about these dark skinned Etruscan and marshes, man. He tell, look, they they got him down here with a top hat on. He hiding out in the car. Look how he dressed. How them dark skinned niggas, them niggas up top, them Etruscans, them Etruscans. Look how he dressed. They telling you what these guys is all about. Oh look, look. What was Marv, What was Marvin the Martian trying to do? And Marvin, keep in mind, Marvin L. Marvin L. See them guys who. These were L's. Go read the book of Enoch's again. That's what you need to go do. And see that what I'm telling you. 
But these guys were stationed on Mars by a new because he got rid of the freaks. Remember it like it was yesterday, man. It's all coming to me. So look, look at these dark skinned Moors with the with the with the uh you know with the helmet on. These really were space helmets. They had a space helmet like this. It had a, a shield on the front, a glass shield. And it was a space helmet. Really, they were. And look at them. They arguing with the Anarchies, the green beans. Because the Anarchies had olive tone skin. Look, they arguing with the Anarchies. Look at it. Right in the cartoon. They telling you, man. Yeah, who stole my space modular? You, hey, go back and watch Marvin the Martian again. And really, you see what the head's going on. I'm telling you, man. The irony in this. Okay. Now they leader, Shem guys. Like I say, you can Google that right now and you pull it up and it's a trust me. Look at the wings on them. They leader. They were elves. Right? The dark skin, the trust me. Yeah, we got these niggas, man. Right? So it's different. Uh you put up the Etruscans, you see all of the little images they did with these dark skinned black uh centaurian niggas that had the six pack. Remember, I told you about the centaurian with the six pack. They really the, these dark skinned moors that landed in Oro Chidea. Uh, here's different pictures. Now, this story is gonna come back around because these what these guys were doing, they were doing a lot of experiment. These guys, they were crossbreeding, they were they were. Taking uh human kidnapping humans from Earth and then taking their head off a dog and putting it on a human and putting a human head on a dog. That's why they show you in the Mars in the Mars movie, right? Let me show you that. But here you go another picture of, of these uh these dark skinned Etruscans that were stationed on Mars. The angels, right? For you Christian people, they would be called angels, bad angels, right? Beings that come from outer space, extraterrestrial, extraterrestrial. <laughs> Right. Uh, here's another picture. Hold up. Okay, this is what they look like. They were dark like this. They didn't have the nine eat the hair. They had the curly textures like type hair. These dark, they were real black. Not us. We copper tone. I'm talking about black, black, real black people. They the real niggas. The real niggas. Niggar. I'm telling you. These moors. Uh, here's another picture of when they had when the battle took place. When these Etruscans came and started to want to uh, start to invade Earth from Mars. Okay, here's another picture of them. With the, see, they got that. Keep in mind that, that the Centaurian helmet. Look how black they got these guys. I'm telling you, man, we got them. Yeah, they're so black, they like purple, right? We got them, y'all. Hey, shout out my brother Rod Hayes, man, because they were saying my brother Rod. Was making stuff up when he said that these are trust scans with the guys, and we got them. We got them coming from Mars. All right, some of them had two heads and two faces. They were free white man. See, look at this. They uh, this what they this what they ever told look like. This what they look on the inside like. See, all right, they they later on came. They show you this in the museum, but nobody really know what this know what this was. They looking at it and they, they see when they came. These uh, Truskians came to Earth later on doing Murdoch. Will. We're gonna go back. This we're gonna come back up in that part. But I'm really running ahead of time right here. But I'm just really showing you uh, the part about the uh, Truskians. These dark skinned tall black dudes that was on Mars who got mad because they wouldn't get no. Uh, 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 Mushu, we got to say Mushu, they weren't getting no Mushu. So they disguised a the plan amongst them that when they got to Earth doing Murdoch's wedding, they were going to start kidnapping women. And they made the leader, Shem Gaz, who was an L, made him swear an oath that all of them together were going to go down for it if they got busted by the Anarchies. And so they came to Earth and started kidnapping human women and taking them to the mountains and uh, taking advantage of them. Right? And here's when we start the battle started because some of them had horns. We and our narcos started be, attacking these guys. And it was a it was a battle. We had to kick cast these these freaks back to Mars. Get these freaks back to Mars, man, because they coming down here now. And we don't want to be around them. They they they're creepy looking to us as in our narcos, right? I'm telling you, man. All right. When they came, they also had these different creatures that they had took. 
the heads off off of uh, anarchies and other beings that they kill and crossbred them and put their head, put the human head on a dog. And they showed you that in Mars attack. And little did you know what it was all about. They're showing you right here. They, they, they brought these creatures with them. They were half human, half dog. These uh these Etruscans had pets, like these uh pets they used to fight with. Right? This is us battling these guys. Hold on, let me show you. Now, now you know what the movie Immortals is all about, where we had trapped these 200, uh, these 20 captains down in Shambella. Murdoch ended up ca capture, trapping them down there in the temple. You remember? I right, said, so now you know why they got them helmets on, because these are the same Etruscans, the, rip, the, the Nagas, who are reptilians who evolved into looking like humans. Right? Okay? And Murdoch, was, uh, after uh, uh, we, we really speaking ahead of time by telling you this, but uh, over time, Azu and Zu ended up stealing the tablets of destiny, and he got fired over these guys, and they put Murdoch over these guys. Murdoch didn't really want to be over these guys, but when they came down and did what they did at the wedding, Murdoch ended up uh, sentencing these guys down to the underworld. These uh these Etruscans. So they, they end up getting trapped. We battled them. Me, uh, several several of us that, that's on online right now listening. You may was with us when we battled these guys, these Etruscans, to trap them down in the temple in Shambella. The ones who wrote, remember the fans? They, they telling you, they tell you suddenly the whole story because they can't make nothing up, nothing new. They got to repeat stories and take stories and crossbreed them and mix them together to come up with these stories. But these, these are the 200, the 20 captains who got trapped down into uh, their Murdoch traps. Hold on. Look at this. They wore these helmets. With this, these really were space helmets. Right? These dark, look, they got them black, dark skin and truskies. Look at that, man. We didn't know who. Look, reptilians. And they got, they, 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 their bodies decayed, right? Their avatar, because they're they still alive down there, stuck in their avatar in the fourth dimension limbo. And they all locked up in there. See, they show you right there. These are these these are gigis. The two hundred fallen the gigis. Two hundred fallen the gigis. Look at them. They trapped Murdoch. Trapped them. And remember, they show you in the storyline where they try to get, get them out. But in, and he, and Michael and his angels, they put you know they, how they mix it up and make everybody uh, you know pale skin. But Michael and his angels keep them is the ones that fought to keep them uh, 200 of these Etruscans down there. Right? Look at them. They all locked in a temple like the Kaaba. That's a gold temple. Built like the, uh, it's got a, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a Kaaba in the, in the center of a hex, uh, hexagon. Right? They trapped up in there, these uh, 20 captains. The, the 200 dog niggas. This right here, but I'm really ahead of time because they end up getting trapped after the after they came down. But uh, we're going the story going line going to play back out to where they where the wedding come in, and then they get come down. They start taking the humans, and then the battle start. Then they so, so this right here really the the last part of when they get trapped. So I'm actually ahead of the time, but but we just want to show you these uh people. They got trapped in a temple, a gold temple that looked like the Kaaba down in these two hundred captives that came from Mars. There was the Marvin the Martians. And keep in mind, in that same movie where they show you that he burning a bull, and they tell so they telling you that this this was during the age of Taurus. This was during the age of Taurus when these uh, two hundred fallen niggas got cast down, and this was during the time when Enlil came to Earth, right? The age of Taurus. Okay, they were tall knights, dark knights. The tall dark knights, the dark knights are. Moors, ones who landed in Or, a Chaldea, who were a Gigi's, 200 of Gigi's who got cat exiled pretty much without even, without them knowing it. He, you know, knew pretty much flushed the toilets of Nubaru on to Moors. And these guys got, was there for so many years, thousands of years, so they got mad and they invaded Earth. Okay. Now, like I said, they had these M, uh, they show you in uh, the movie Mars Attack where they was had these Martians were taking the dog head and putting it on humans. And they, uh, th these were some of the beings that was up there with these, the Gigi's, they picked, that they brought the fighters, the Anarchy. So we had to 
chop some heads off of these little weird creatures, right? Here you go, right here. They show you in the movie, right? Well, on Mars, they tell you this whole storyline in Sutherland and all these different movies. I'm telling you, man. So they were putting their heads on, on dogs and different creatures, switching their, their head gear out on them. And they making their own look like look attack dogs and things on Mars. There was a bunch of freaks up there, man. I'm telling you, demons. Okay, uh, Ishtar had one of them as a pet. Hers has had a scorpion tail, right? Ishtar had a pet at one of these days as a pet. All right, we're gonna come back on that one right there. We that, that should cover the Igigis. And we're, the Igigis gonna come back up in the storyline. But we just want, and I'm, I'm going to actually do another, I'm going to do the uh, next part today. It's probably going to take like about an hour break. Come back at 12 o'clock and do the uh, part six, seven. It'll be part seven, right? Yeah, part seven. So we just want to make that clear for you about the Igigis, man, and who the Etruscans was, man. They are the 200 following the Igigis, or 20 captains of the 200 following the Igigis, who were elves, who were Moors, who landed in Aura Chadia. That's how they, they didn't become Moors until they landed in the Aura Chadia. And they wore dark skin, right? So more can mean dark skin. And they wore navigators because they overstood the stars. They know how to move, use the stars to navigate. And they were builders because these people were who the Anarchies used to build all their ziggurats and who Solomon used to build the temple of the uh, Yahweh or the Most High or the God, right? Or uh, Inky, really was Inky, right? But, uh, you know, so... We just wanted to make that clear for you, man. Shout out, brother, my brother Rod, man. Skype eight, man, for uh, because because me and Rod, like Rod, helped me on this because I, I I actually came up when I felt around uh when I found that the, the Igigis were uh the Etruscans. I was like, damn, that, that's in Zachariah Stitcher book. Then I called Rod, and then Rod gave me some more stuff on it. So Rod helped me put this together. So uh, uh on the uh the Etruscans, right? So we just wanted to bring that to you. So shout out my brother Rod for uh like most of the whole this whole thing, this whole, this whole, this whole uh thing I call Rod as I was putting it together to to like verify certain things with him. So uh that what he knew, right? So Rod helped me put this together. So uh and we're gonna get Rod gonna be on one time this week, probably. Uh we, we, we're taking a break, right? Cause I gotta get all these right here out so we can go ahead and start teaching the next level, right? So we hope y'all enjoyed this part, man. We got part seven going to be coming out later on the day. So uh, peace, man. Like I said, if you want to hit, hit that like, hit that subscribe button if you want to show us some love. If you want to show us some love on the cash out, we drop that in the links, man. Uh, we out. We'll be back. It's long. Shalom alaikum. Assalamu alaikum. Peace. Hotel. Divine love throughout the boundless universe to all.